All right, so Tiger isn't sure when he will return to competitive golf, but if his tee shots on the par 3 10th hole at Congressional on Monday were any indication, he has a ways to go. Woods hit three balls from a little over 100 yards away that ended up in the water. Skip, big deal or no big deal? I'm going to call this a big little deal because what he was doing was a little deal that became a very big deal to me, in my view. And Shannon, for those who don't know golf, the sponsors wanted Tiger Woods, this is his namesake tournament, his charity, they wanted him to hit one ceremonial shot over water to this par three green. But they let him do it from the very front of the par three tees. That was, as you point out, that was a shot that measured 102 yards over water to the green. When the US Open was there, they played from the back of that tee at 217 yards over water. That's a tough shot. Yes. This is one where this is a basic, easy swing wedge shot for a Tiger Woods to hit across the water. For any pro, anybody, not just Tiger Woods, for anybody. any pro should be able to do this. It's an easy swing. Okay. It, it, it's one you don't even really need to warm up for. Right. So Tiger Woods, they, they toss one ball out to him, and he completely missed the first one. He just, what, what you call, sculled it. It went halfway across the water and nosedived and splashed. Second shot, he hit it a little bit better, and it splashed just inches from the far bank. The third shot, he hit just slightly better than the second shot. But by the way, before he took that swing, he, you could hear him mutter to himself, come on, Tiger, like he was really starting to grind yeah. over yeah. it. And that was his choice to hit the third shot, and it hit the far bank and rolled back in the water. And it, it was devastating not only to Tiger at that moment, but to the crowd around him. It was hushed silence by everybody because everybody felt so bad for Tiger because clearly he felt bad for himself. Now I'm back to where I, I've been on Tiger Woods. In all my years of watching all sports, I've never seen someone this great lose it this badly, where his confidence is completely, utterly shattered to the it point is that he can't even drop a couple of balls and, and just easy swing a wedge across the pond. Never seen anything no, like no, this. I haven't either. And again, to his credit, some excuses might apply here. It was chilly. He had a sweater on. He did not hit any warm-up shots. He's coming off back surgery, so I'm sure his back's a little stiff and tight. But you can almost arm swing this and hit it across 102 yards of water. And we saw him, when we last saw Tiger Woods, suffered through the chip yips, where he couldn't even chip the golf ball without sometimes sculling it completely across oh, green. the green. Yeah. He just lost all feel and touch. It's just in your head. No, no, no sport can create demons in your head quite like golf mm -hmm. can create demons. And Tiger still has demons in his head, exacerbated by all of his, in he's had everything. He's had Achilles and knees and shoulders, and we, we know all that. It, it, his body is a wreck. Obviously, his back has been an ongoing issue. But still, in all, he continues to talk about, I'm getting better. And he reminded everybody when he was asked about, can you catch Jack? Sure, I can catch Jack. And by the way, I've already caught and passed him in regular season victories because Tiger has, what, uh, 79. 79 to 73. He passed Jack Nicholas in just regular tour wins. So he's clinging to that. He's stuck on 14 majors to Jack's 18. There's no way he's going to catch and pass Jack Nichols. I hate to say it, but I, I would love to see it, but, but we're not going to see it because at 40, with, with a body that, that is betraying a him. 55-year-old. Yeah, yeah, it's got a 55-year-old body. It's just not going to happen. He, should, he still should be, health, all yeah. things considered, he should be at the end of his prime right now at age 40. He still should be capable of being a dominant player. But, but what kills me about this is I have never seen a single athlete in a single sport dominate his sport any greater than Tiger owned his sport of golf. No, no football player, no baseball player, no basketball player, no hockey. I've never seen a tennis player. I've never seen anybody do what Tiger did for that, that sort of three-year stretch in there. He was invincible. He, he roared and everyone cowered around him. Everybody dropped to their knees and said, I'm playing for second. That's how dominant a player he was. And for me to watch him hit a ceremonial shot halfway across a pond from 100 yards away is just mind-blowing and spirit-crushing because I, I don't see how he's going to come back. Shannon, I just don't. Real, real quick here. So you're saying 
he, no one's dominated like him, but no one's also collapsed like no him. One. You've never I, seen I mean, I've never any seen sport. a great player that great. lose it. This we've seen lots of players have yeah. psychological. Chuck Knobloch couldn't okay, throw the ball. Could, uh, Steve Sachs. I, yeah. I was talking about him this morning. Yeah. They couldn't throw couldn't it to first, first base. Yep. You know, uh, we've seen pitchers who just couldn't find home plate, but they weren't. They never were very good to start with. They were just mediocre players. You remember Nick Anderson? Once yeah, he missed those he free did. throws, that was it. He was Shot never him. the same player. He was player. a pretty good player. Yes. He was. That's a good one. I, I agree. And we've seen golfers, yeah. David Duvall. Boy. Yeah, Ian Baker Finch. But he they wasn't won, this great. No, they won a major championship, right. and then they lost it. Yep. And they couldn't drive the ball in the fairway anymore. Skip, it, it, it breaks my heart. Yep. Because it's over. It's over. He'll, 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 ne he'll never be. He'll never, he'll, he'll never resemble that guy. Can he win a tournament here or there? Probably. He's not going to win a major because he can't put, whether it's golf, and we see the same thing with Roger Federer. They can play great for a round or two. Federer can play great for yeah. a round, two yeah. rounds, three rounds, four rounds. But he, when he gets to the semis, when he gets to the finals, right. he gets blown out. Tiger can play great the first day, yuck it up the second day, play good the third day, and then he collapsed the fourth day. That's true. It's over. That, that's well said. That's exactly what happens. And Skip, he can't hit, 100, uh, hit the ball 100 yards. He's not playing anytime soon. He's going to probably be out another year. So who, what athlete you know? can take this kind of time off and come back. It's, it's so, it, it, it breaks my heart because I'm not the golf aficionado. My brother loves to play the no, game, but I watched the game. I, I watched golf and I watched Tiger and I knew how dominant he was. And it was the only time that I would watch golf was to see him. But like you said, once he got caught by Y.E. Yang, he became vincible. Because now all of a sudden he, did, he had a lead and someone chased him down. Mm -hmm. No one had ever done that before. That was the last major of that year, the PGA. And, and that the, was pre-scandal. Scandal. That was, yes. Well, that was shortly before the scandal well, because shortly. I think this happened in what? August, that September? Been August 15th. And then this, no, August and this 15th happened on what? So. Thanksgiving or mm -hmm. something. And right so after a couple that. of months after yep. that. And it was, but how? how? I mean, it, it was like they removed this, this cloak of invincibility from around him and he just crumbled. It was like all of a sudden, I'm not who everybody think I am, yep. so I can't be great again. It is so sad. And, and to watch him hit the ball, and like you said, you know, a 100-yard swing, well, there are no 100-yard holes on the golf course. You're no. going to have to drive the ball. So if he can't do a wedge, what's he going to do with a driver, Skip? And you said two back surgeries. You, you keep going, and I've never, and I've had surgeries, and I know people that had surgeries. You don't have people keep going into your body and get better. They've opened up the knee. They've done the Achilles twice. They've yeah. done the back twice. He's not getting healthier. He's 40. He's not 24. And it's so sad. And, and when I look at him and just look at his talk, I can see his body language. And I don't want to be no body language expert. But he knows. He puts on a brave face. And you heard Michael Jordan in his interview. He says, I just don't have the heart to tell him it's over. Skip, it's over, Skip. It's over. It's over. And he, like I said, it's over in terms of him being that guy. Yeah. Can he win a tournament? Could he possibly catch Sam Snead, who has 82 yep. uh, uh, total wins? Could he Maybe. get the 82, uh, I mean, 83, 84? Maybe. Even that seems a long way away to me, yes. like a long shot. Because we're looking at Phil, and Phil, in, in, in some tournaments, Phil is very competitive. Uh, he, he, he'll challenge for a major. I don't even see that with Tiger. Yeah, and I don't know how intertwined what happened off the course has been with what happens yeah. on the course in that the cloak of invincibility gets ripped off on the golf course by Y.E. Yang and then it gets ripped off through the scandal where he wasn't who we thought mm -hmm. he always was as a husband and a father and all of a sudden he's been exposed on and off the in course. In all aspects, yeah. yeah. A lot of athletes really don't care what you think of them because at the end of the day when you walk by the mirror he always knew who he was. Yep. Yeah. So why does it matter? It doesn't Skip, when you do what you do, you're, you're the king of the, you, you started this, you're the king of this debate. You're the Roger Bannister of Embrace Debate. There have been a lot of other guys that run sub-4 A lot sub of people out there don't know who that is. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> the first guy to run the sub-4 yeah. minute mile. Thank you. Skip, it doesn't matter. But to you him know. it clearly does because that's why he put that, that front on. So the, the psyche and the health and there it is, all, Molly. all attributing yep. right to what happened. And yep. maybe part of the reason he's holding on also, you'd know this better than anyone, is that transition after you retire. It's difficult if he's yep. not sure what's next for him.
All right, moving on, guys. So after OKC's game one win, Enos Cantor has something to say to our Skip Bayless. Get him, Cant. Skip will react to that after the break. And he's not recanting. Mmm. <laughs> That's what he just.